these artists are on these streaming forums. They are on these streaming platforms. Even from a guy like a J. Cole that say how many artists got streams from these bots, they not as hot as they seem. Well, J. Cole is a part of that system as well, and he don't even know it. The major labels are running these streaming forums. They're running these streaming numbers. They're running these setups. All right? We in a major, major industry, and that industry is ran by a machine. So I'm super appreciative of you guys. I'm making this video because the first week numbers are in. So first things first was showing y'all appreciation. But the second thing is addressing the bullshit that's going on in the industry. So they've reported that I did 46,000. That's not true. I did 51,000. And it's really not so much about numbers why I'm like irritated with it. It's, it's the fact that y'all are trying to diminish my impact and make it seem like my impact isn't really what it is. Um, so they took away 5,600 of my sales on the grounds of, these are their words, that I'm not allowed to incentivize my fans to buy an album. And yet that is the definition of marketing. They fake in their streams. These artists are not what they see. Welcome back to Marcus at Work Media. So we got that clip right there from your boy Russ, independent artist. He did some collaborations with a couple majors. Now he's 100% independent. Nevertheless, he's released a new project and um, he got some, some, some unit sales removed from his account. Wow. How does that happen? Maybe because Billboard is one major conglomerate of a parent company that owns and runs all the stream counts. And Russ has been speaking out lately about the majors and they might not be too happy about that. Playboy Cardi has really been struggling to sell tickets to his antagonist tour and we finally have the numbers to see how bad it actually is. A few days Playboy Cardi is going on a US arena tour with the rest of his label and the ticket sales aren't looking too great right now. Here are the numbers that we have so far, and as you can see, it's not looking too good for Playboy Cardi. A lot of these arenas are nowhere close to selling out, and the highest one is Atlanta, which is expected, because that's home field for Playboy Cardi. No one likes Lil Baby anymore. Lil Baby is supposed to start his tour in Texas this week, but has pulled 10 stops off his tour because nobody is buying tickets. Not only that, but the kid Leroy has been pulled from his lineup as a supporting act. After looking at ticket sales on Ticketmaster, we found that Lil Baby had less than 50% of the tickets sold in Phoenix, San Diego, Las Vegas, Sacramento, Salt Lake City, Denver, Minneapolis, Pittsburgh, Indianapolis, and Louisville, ultimately causing him to cancel these dates. This whole thing reminds us of last year when DaBaby was selling tickets for a buy one, get one free deal. If you want to see Lil Baby on tour, you can name your own price on the Ticket Rev app. Now, a little bit of background about me. I am a branding and marketing strategist. And I've had campaigns dealing with major labels, corporations, Fortune 500 companies, so on and so forth. So I am acutely aware of the bot game, including fake streams, dealing with faking the streaming numbers on all platforms and the followers and the views and the comments and all the different click farms. I, I don't wanna bore you with the details, but it goes deep on how all this fake and stream and bot game goes. Now, a lot of the times I've done major rollouts for major labels. I will tell you firsthand that they do use the fake streams and they don't use it a little bit. A lot of times they run the infrastructure of servers that run all of these plays and all of these streams. Today's world, everybody's using a streaming phone. Streaming phone, man, is a bunch of different cell phones that sign up to Spotify. They play your record over and over again. You get streams, you get paid. You know, plain and simple. Now, we did have a guy by the name of Chad Focus. He was on a, a Vice interview and he kind of broke down the fake streams. And I seen that full documentary and I agree almost a thousand percent with exactly what he was saying about how deep the bot gang goes with these artists. Now, I will say in all fairness, Chad Focus did go to jail. He's out now, but he stole X amount of millions of dollars from his, his company that he worked for in order to play the bot game similar to the major labels. Cause you still need the money to even play the bot game too, at least to do it effectively. So he played that game and he helped his clients and people that he worked with play the game too, because that is the industry standard. Now here we are with the aftermath effect of 
what these industry heads have done to the rap game. This is why I know lots of artists that are highly talented, very good at what they do, put out excellent quality music, but these days it's 90% marketing, 10% talent. Hey, pfft, you don't even need the talent with the way the machine is set up. Long as you got the machine and the keys to how to use the machine, talent unfortunately means very little. So what are your thoughts on all of this? Is, 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 is your experience of seeing these streaming numbers and these uh, canceled shows surprising to you? Or is this just status quo and you already knew about this shit from a long time ago? Put your comments below and let's get the conversation going.